Now, we have the sulfur hexafluoride here. And if you work out the formula weight, sulfur is, this is SF6, sulfur is 32.06 plus 6 times 19 for the fluorines. You get uh, 146 grams per mole. And the density works out to about 6 grams per liter. Under room temperature and atmospheric pressure conditions. So that's about five times heavier than air. The density of that balloon, um, especially if you don't have the helium balloon lifting up part of the weight. So hang on to the string and feel how heavy it is. It's really dense. How much time have we got now? OK. So we, we see that we have an extremely dense balloon there. Um, if we figure that is probably a little bit bigger than a two liter bottle. So it's a little bit more than two liters. Um, if it's six grams per liter, that's about 12 grams, roughly 12, 15 grams of SF6. If I were to put it on a balance, though, I wouldn't get 12 grams because it is buoyed up by the air. And that little correction factor you will cover in way too much detail when you take chemistry uh, 2111 or 2101. Now, we have here the aquarium full of SF6. Hose out. Slide this off so as not to make a lot of turbulence. Now let's see if this actually, I've never done this before. We just got this tank last year. Oh, that is just cool, isn't it? No tricks, just science. We can also do this. Well, okay, we got a game for the <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can't do that because it's too inaccurate. It's easy to place the boat in there. That's pretty darn cool, isn't it? Shall we sink it? <laughs> no. I weigh a hell of a lot more than six grams <laughs> per liter. So I don't think we'll do that. But what we can do is we can put some of this dense gas in there, just like taking a regular boat. <laughs> See it floating a little lower? All right, I'm going to leave it like that. <laughs> Oh, six. OK, that's pretty neat. All right, I like that. Um, thanks to Joe Frannick. Thanks to Joe Frannick for that. Um, I will try to get this into some kind of form that we can post online. Don't send it to YouTube. I'm a copyright owner. And we'll, we'll get all kinds of trouble. So that's pretty neat. Now. One other thing about gas density, since this is Fun Friday, um, you may know that the gases that we use, I'm going to very carefully cover this up so it doesn't all diffuse out. The gases that we use all have moving molecules in them. And the speed of sound in a gas depends on the speed of the molecules. I'm not going into the math of molecular speed today, but while we have this, I wanted to uh, make a little demonstration. Now, right now, you guys know that I'm talking in air. And air has a certain density. And it, the uh, speed of sound in air is a certain amount. This balloon is full of helium. And I'm sure you've heard the uh, voice effect of breathing a little helium. So let's give it a shot. No tricks. I'm just going to talk in my regular voice. And the helium effect, <laughs> musty old latex balloon. 
the Hitler effect <laughs> makes it sound kind of Donald Duckish. <laughs> so we're going to do this. I take another breath and right over here, my voice goes back to normal. Maybe we can get one more joke out of it. Because we don't just have a light, high velocity gas here. We also have access to a really heavy gas. So let's find out what happens here. And Joe said, just stick your head in the tank and breathe a little bit. <laughs> there's not very much, there's not very much uh, hydrogen fluoride in here. Bye, everybody. 